Darius, I'm going to ask you about very specific circumstances and wide receivers, and you tell me how the Butler did it. Got it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so in 2016, uh, Colts beat the Packers tw- at 31 to 26. Colts D held Devontae Adams to four catches for 41 yards and a touchdown on eight targets. Adams mm. was an all pro last season. How did the Butler do it? Oh, I actually, you know what? That's one of my favorite games ever. So I got a pick, a nice pick. I think Devontae Adams might have been the target. So I was playing safety that game. And uh, one of my favorite coverages to run against Aaron Rodgers in that offense was what we call one uh, robber. And um, you basically put your corners, your defenders, whoever on that defender, especially when he's in the slot, and you tell him, hey, guard this guy, be rough with him, but stay outside and kind of funnel him inside. I'll be back here deep. I'll pretend like I'm back here, but I'm going to roll down to kind of A-Rod's blind spot and anything that he throws inside, I'm going to try to jump it. And uh, it actually worked perfect. You know, A-Rod rarely throws interceptions, especially at home. So um, that was the game plan that week. Um, And everybody else was kind of on their own. You know, you guys, you were out there. I think Jordy Nelson was still there. Uh, We had uh, Randall Cobb was still there. We had some other weapons, but, you know, you're facing a guy like Devontae Adams. You know, you got to at least have two sets of eyes on him. And um, fortunately, you know, we got him more than they got us that week. Right. And And that pick was intended for Devontae Adams that you had. So that is a definitely a great game to remember. Okay. Moving on. In 2017, Colts beat the Texans 20 to 14 and held DeAndre Hopkins to six catches for 86 yards and a touchdown on 16 targets. Dang. How did the Butler do it? <laughs> uh, so Devontae, I mean, not Devontae, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, Nuke, he was a little different. That was a divisional rival. Um, so we were very familiar with each other, both teams. Um, but we played him more so like a, um, like a two man. So the defenders, the, uh, primary defenders, I'll call them, would be physical with them once again and then try to play underneath him. So let uh, DeAndre get kind of on top of him. And that way, whatever deep help you had can be on top and prevent the deep ball. But one of D Hop's favorite things during that era out there in uh, Houston was the back shoulders, the out routes, kind of intermediate routes. He would just kill teams on, which he still caught us on a few. But um, we played the odds, and he got a ton of targets, which, you know, he still does. But that was the best way to, you know, slow him down. He still had 86 yards and a touchdown on us. But, you know, 16 targets, you know, we'll live with that. So um, we played him a little differently. And um, not as much around him in Houston that uh, mm-hmm. Devontae Adams had out there in Green Bay. So it was a little it's a little easier, and he definitely didn't have A-Rod throwing in the ball either. So uh, that definitely right. helped. That always helps. <laughs> 